Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really well. And today, well, we got new Bob of My Valentine. This is the third uh, single off of the new record that's coming, the self-titled. And um, yeah, being a, a big Bob of My Valentine fan and obviously my subscribers, you guys know what I do on this channel, which is like breaking down their songs and lessons, doing covers of them, all that sort of thing amongst the other bands that I do. But Bob of My Valentine is a very, very big band for me. So yeah, I thought I'd react to this one this time because a few of you dug the last reaction video. I'm hoping it's going to be a bit more positive than the last one because uh, the last one was kind of uh, at a left wing with the whole Royal Blood thing with uh, Metallica. So this is the third track off the album. Um, I've not heard this song yet. Okay, I'm really excited. The last few tracks have been quite uh, savage and quite heavy, especially Parasite. And this time, yeah, I definitely wanted to get a video out for you guys ASAP. Uh, rather than trying to dive in head first and cover it like I did with Parasite, which took for absolute ever. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and uh, yeah, let's enjoy this one together. Um, I think we're going to have a little bit more of a softer edge on this one, only from the uh, the sort of uh, swelling it, sort of intro, the fading intro that we had um, on the teasers on Instagram. Yeah, I could be wrong. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to have a I don't need you kind of vibe. So let's uh, let's find out together, shall we? Okay, cans on. And uh, let's go. New bullet of my Valentine. This is Shatter. Nice reverb -y guitar. All about the reverb. Man, I'm loving that intro. Oh man, I love the layering. Layered guitars, reverb. Mwah. Love it. Okay, I like the ref. Okay, this is really going back to like uh, gravity. Man, I really dig the guitar tone on this one. Yeah, this is really going back to like Gravity era, I think. It's all about like the space and the atmosphere and then the weight of the riff, I guess. <laughs> Kind of has like a uh, parkway feel to it. You know, um, the last parkway album? Okay, chance. I'm 
guessing this is like a second fret song. Okay, guitar solo. That's a lot more melodic than the last one. Reminds me of that Parkway song. What is it? The tooth drops like a bomb. You know the one I mean, off of reverence. Ref again. That's it. Okay, that's uh, that's a long one. Okay, um, I don't always like to speak before I've listened to it a few times, so this is kind of um, it avoids the point of doing a reaction video, right? But uh, yeah, it's cool. I love that intro, the big layered sort of um, guitars and the vocals and that sort of thing. I'm absolutely all about that. Like any artist that does that, it just like layer verbed out guitar, layered vocals, that sort of thing. Absolutely love it. Um, okay, the riff. Again, it, it just, I keep saying it right the way through. It reminds me of that um, that Parkway song off of Reverence. The truth drops like a bummer down, down, ba da 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 down, down. Um, the riff is cool. It's really heavy. I, I think this is a little bit more of like a, a slow grow one, for sure. Um, it's got like uh, gravity vibes on it in terms of like the sort of uh, the spaced out uh, verses. And then it like smacks you in the face with a riff. Um, and again, sort of like the, the gravity style riffing in there. It's like -da -na 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 -da -na, that sort of thing that was going on on that album, which is cool. Um, and yeah, the riff, it's like, um, I don't know, it's got kind of like a groove in Rage Against the Machine. And I'm not really a Rage fan, but that, that band comes to mind. Um, or even, dare I say, like a sad but true kind of vibe, right? Um, so yeah, I dig it. I'd like to listen to it a fair few times more. Um, before I give like an ultimate opinion on whether, whether, you know, it's like one of my favorites or not, I guess, um, it, like I said, this one's a slow grow, I think, because the other songs, Knives was released because the download pilot, right? That was a logical choice for that because it wasn't too complicated. It was simple. It was bouncy. You could nod your head to it and, um, you're not going to lose your, your audience. You've never heard that song before when you're playing it live. It's quite, quite simple in its structure. Parasite, well, that one came along and took us massively by surprise. That's got that technical edge that Matt was talking about uh, in interviews. It's got like the James Hetfield fast down picked riff. Um, and it's got like the uh, sort of like slip knotty parts in there going off the first fret and all that sort of thing. Um, and like a ripping guitar solo as well, um, which is loads of fun to play if I can get it right. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so th this one's a little bit more of kind of like a nod your head. Yeah, groove kind of just like. I don't know, it probably, what I'm expecting is an album full of ferociousness, and this is probably like a welcome breather in the middle of all that, just to take a breath, but still, I mean, it doesn't let up, Matt's really going for it with his yelling, um, I thought the vocals were cool at the end when he really held that oh, sort of guttural note right there, that was cool, um, so yeah, I like the song, out of five, oh god, um, I don't know, compared to like Parasite, I'd give it a three and Parasite is like a solid five for me. Only because I've not lived with it. Um, and I want to live with it a little bit longer and I'm sure it's going to grow on me more. Um, but at the end of the day, I like everything but with my Valentine do. Even dare I say Tempo Tempo, apart from maybe a couple of songs in there, right? Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm digging this vibe. I love layer guitars, big production. 
that sort of thing. And I'm loving the groove and riff on this one. So, so yeah, I'm guessing this is kind of like a little bit of a breather on the album. Um, but yeah, very cool song. Uh, so yeah, I, I like it. It's cool. So thank you anyway for um, coming on, hanging, hanging out with me. Yeah. Um, again, um, if you enjoy this reaction per se, uh, it's more of a, uh, me listening to and expressing my thoughts, whether that's reaction or not, I have no idea, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, and should I cover it? There's not a whole lot going on. Well, I guess there is, there's a, there's a big riff in there. Um, I'll listen to it a few more times and see what I can come up with, but some of that ambience and stuff, I don't know, really wouldn't really know what to put in there. Um, unless I could figure out some reverby guitar stuff to do in the middle. But do you guys want to see a cover of this one? Has it got the energy that you want to see? Um, so let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, this has been Shatter Built My Valentine. I've been me. Thank you for staying uh, for the video if you've made it this far. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to see a cover of it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Cheers. Never alone